My collective and I participated in the Refugee Week uh, past June, and the theme was Welcome. And um, it was basically people telling stories about how they've been welcomed. And um, there, there's one that um, a woman who I interviewed decided to share. I mean, it's just an example. It's not even my story, but somehow I'm going to say it. So it's basically an, an, an Iraqi family that, that moved to Holland as refugees. And she's explaining how back then Holland had a policy that all refugees coming in, they could apply for an Oma and an Opa, which is a grandma and an o and a grandpa. The nicer part was, you know, when her grandparents arrived in Holland, they, they couldn't speak Dutch, and uh, Oma and Opa definitely didn't speak uh, Iraqi. So they communicated by food. They would cook for each other, and uh, you know, and sometimes she would go visit, and it's sort of like this two people that were there, just you know, to give that help and support. Initially, they became long, long life friends, and you know, she was telling me how she looked at them as her own grandma and grandpa. I feel we can make refugees welcome. Um, first of all, by um, understanding that they're humans and that they desperately need help. Um, and we have the resources to do so. I think educating on um, refugees and how they can benefit um, the communities we're in, just having conversations uh, in schools, allowing young people to learn about refugees so they can come home and continue that conversation with the parents. Just really getting that conversation flowing uh, in a positive way is um, a way I'd really like to do that. So a refugee is someone in need of a uh, refuge help, support, understanding, and love. As we've seen, the support of refugees here in the UK has not been okay, or what's the word? It's not okay. We need, to <laughs> we need to try and change it. I think it's really important to remember that the word refugee relates to someone who's having to leave, not out of choice, but they're actually having to leave because of their safety or they don't feel safe in their country. Like there's not like one refugee narrative, it's all yeah, different. different. Yeah. You know, they want to be a part of your society, they don't want to take your jobs or take your homes, they want to coincide equally, um, and I think we should uh, promote that and uh, just teach people how that's going to happen, really make people see that there is a, there is a light at the end of this tunnel and we can all coincide together. Like showing other people. Yeah. Solidarity. Solidarity. Solidarity is a good broad word. I try and learn from refugees like areas where they struggle that we wouldn't think about, like practical things, like application forms and all that kind of stuff. That's uh, one of the elements of the journey that most people have explained to be excruciating weight. It's sort of you're there but you're not there. Moving around from home to home and you can't really start settling in and living the human life.